Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're not as bored as everybody seems on the internet right now. Um, hopefully some of the videos I've been putting out has helped with that boredom. Um, I appreciate it if you're staying home that you are doing your part in the social distancing. I, I fortunately and unfortunately still get to go to work. I'm very blessed. Um, I have an essential job per se, but um, still been working and very blessed for that. I'm not complaining at all, uh, but I am trying. I do have to go out and about to do that. So I am trying to either still exercise and do that or um, keep my social distancing in the daily actions in life. But um, I've seen that my writing videos have been getting good traction on the channel. So I thought Today I will be in the studio, I'll make a couple videos for y'all, and I'll kind of put those in series, um, some bike videos. So I have some maintenance to do, and just I want to tell y'all and show y'all about the bike, but I'm about to film right now my bike check. So this is my fixed gear, it's a State Bicycle Co. fixed gear, and it has started its life out as a... Uh, can't think of the name. It literally just lost my mind. Uh, Bel Air. <laughs> there you go. Have you ever had those moments where it's just right there? That just happened to me. So this is State Bicycle Co. Bel Air. And it used to have these color wheels right here. It had these wheels on it from factory. Um, they're like a, a seafoam color. Uh, this is actually the rear wheel. Uh, but it didn't have sealed bearings or anything like that, so I have since upgraded two sealed bearings in front and rear. Um, they're actually two different style uh, wheels, but before we get into that, let me just show you around the bike. Uh, here it is. And I have uh, pretty much the only thing left factory on this bike except for the frame and the fork. So the only thing left factory wise is going to be the seat post, the seat clamp, and the spacers here. So everything else, um, everything else on the bike has been changed. And um, so let me get the camera and I'll show you a closer view here. So kind of working ourselves down on the bike, um, we can go ahead and address the handlebars. So the handlebars are actually some riser bars that I took off of a specialized mountain bike. So it's, it's actually my mountain bike that I'm using. I was just trying up out this setup. Um, I had the factory stem on it flipped upside down. This is a little bit higher of a rake. Makes it a little bit more comfortable getting into the bike um, after taking a break off of it. So this is the stem and the handlebars from my mountain bike. Same amount of spacers as it came with stock. We have ODI Vans grips. I am a fan of Vans and I wear them often. So I really enjoy these grips. They do kind of hurt your hand and if you have sweaty hands, they do slip off kind of often. But other than that, I really enjoy them. They clamp on so that you don't have the hassle of trying to slip them on or not. Uh, have good outside protectors. These are aluminum. So I really like them. They look good on the bike. They clean it up for sure. So it is, um, it's a good addition to put on to your everyday bike. I've had them probably on here for about, I would say a year and um, not heavy use on them, but I don't see them wear as much, probably the same life as your shoes. The grip is patterned off of the bottom of the sole of the Vans. So saddle is gonna be a factory saddle. Uh, I have been switching in between a couple of different saddles because I am as undecisive as anyone you'll ever probably meet. So I can't decide on which saddle I want. I have a road bike and I swap them back and forth and still don't know. This one I like certain attributes, the other one, but it's a factory saddle. Um, and the seat post clamp, like I previously said, those are factory from state. And uh, we can go down now to the drivetrain. Uh, yes, I do run a front brake. I don't want to put my life or other people's lives at danger if I get fatigued or tired. I do try most of the time to stop with my legs or I've recently learned to skid, but I always enjoy and want to come home to my wife and my life and run a front brake. I'm not against people that ride brakeless. 
I would actually prefer to ride brakeless. I think it's great, but I just don't want to put it in myself or anybody else in a situation where I can't stop 100%. But down to the front wheel, this is a pure fix sealed bearing front wheel. So that's sealed bearing right there. Um, good wheel. I found it at a, uh, a bike shop in Dallas and um, it really, I mean, it was part of a set, but the back had a coaster brake. So I just ended up buying the front wheel and the bearings on the front actually went out before the rear of the factory wheel. So that's why I went with it. Haven't had any problems with it. I've trued it up myself multiple times. It's ran great, ran true. And uh, wrapped on the tires is going to be uh, their Continental Gator Skins. 25 millimeter Continental Gator Skins. I absolutely love and endorse these tires. I have multiple sets actually right over here. These are extra set for my, my road bike sitting there, brand new. Um, but here are them on the fixed gear i like the way they look the way they perform they have a nice tread pattern on the outside so if you're skidding or anything like that you're not going to mess them up unless you are um you know obviously doing it sideways or anything but so wet and dry i actually love them have those front and rear i've had one flat and it was a tiny little wire that pierced right through and um but other than that, I've been off-road with them. I've been through trails. I've done everything, and they have been phenomenal. Drivetrain rise, I am running the SRAM 100 crank set, and it has the factory 48 tooth on here. So it's SRAM 100 crank set, 42 tooth chain ring, and these are 175s. So I... Um, I, I like the crank length that was actually the same crank length as um, I believe factory but I went from a 42 to a 48 in the front and then I have some crusty dusty Shimano SPD pedals um, my knife set went to the road bike so I threw these on so in case it got bumped or bruised it'll it'll be all right they still perform and work perfectly so going on from the gear ratio got a nice KMC gold to chain gotta have the gold tooth chain back to a 17 tooth cog um i put this on i used to be running a 16 but i put the 17 on when i started to ride a little bit slower local pace uh, try not to use the brakes as much everything um doing tricks whatever but i in the next video going to be putting on 16 tooth show you how to do that and everything so i'm running 48 17 at the moment and I just have an Amazon aluminum um, bottle cage. And that's it. I got some awesome stickers. If you know me on Instagram and have seen me on Instagram, you know that I um, enjoy stickers, obviously. Got the fridge. But I enjoy stickers, so careless apparel sticker there. Shut up legs is a Hizoku uh, cycle sticker. And then you got the God and Famous back here. Pretty cool reflective sticker. I really like that. It's really cool. It flashes. Um, and then, you know, the Travis Heath Racing sticker. But other than that, oh, I forgot. So a lot of you may not know this, and it's just kind of funny, but donut. Um, I like to daily ch chase the donut, so I put it right there so I can see it when I'm riding. So I'm like, oh. I want a donut, but you know, I can't have that unless I work out. And then you're like, oh, my legs hurt. So then you're like, oh, shut up legs. So that is my bike check. I wanted to do a bike check before I changed up some things for this year. Um, but hope y'all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, I wouldn't mind giving you a link to where I bought some of the parts on here or anything like that. I'm an open book. Leave a comment down below. If you're liking the bike videos and you want to see more, you want to see fixed gear, commuting, uh, road bikes, anything like that, um, I have plans to go ahead and do that with, uh, with my brother, some friends like that, hopefully critical mass when the quarantine gets over. So go ahead and hit a thumbs up if you want to see more of those like uh hit a thumbs up if you want to see more of the bike videos. I really enjoy making them and um, glad y'all are liking them. So I hope you enjoyed it. It was fun. 
definitely stay tuned. There'll be more videos. I'm about to shoot some more videos for you about how to do this or that. Click this one right here. That one YouTube thing is going to direct you to a video that you're gonna like. This one over here, this will be the newest, greatest video if you're just now seeing this one. So check it out. And hit right there. No wait, right there. Hit, hit it right there if you